Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we go over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the live example going over the anchor component. In this video, we learn how to create a full anchor scrolling system with just one CMS dynamic list. What you're looking at right here with our active links, anchor scrolling, our dynamic sidebar here, it is all being generated with one CMS dynamic list. We are going to put some classes on elements. We're going to define some elements, have a structure, put it in JavaScript, use CMS library and create this with just one CMS dynamic list. Let's go into designer. Let's see how this is working and how it looks just in designer. As you see, we have a sidebar here that is not looking much like this published site here. The published site has dynamic sidebar links. It has dynamic section IDs, dynamic hrefs for these anchor scrolling sections. Here, we don't have any of that. It's all being generated with JavaScript. So we have to go apply some classes to different elements in here so that JavaScript can go and create this structure for us. We have our dynamic list and that's what we'll go over first. Here in the dynamic list, we have an important class on the collection list element. When we have a dynamic list, we have three layers of collection list wrapper, the collection list, and the collection item. We don't care about the wrapper, we don't care about the item, we care about the list. And to that list, we have an, a class of anchor data feed. Anchor data feed is what our CMS library instance is going to be targeted at. This one is important. Next, we have to go and define what our sidebar button is. And please know that I'm saying sidebar here, but it does not need to be in a sidebar. You can have literally any structure that you want here. In example two, we do a sub nav that's sticky. You can do anything you want. It, it really doesn't matter. We just need to get the classes correct here. So we have our anchor link button. This is the official button for this section. So we have our anchor link button class and inside this button, we have dynamic text, which is linked to our question. And for that, we will have a unique piece of text for every single button inside our list. Every single button is its own question, so it will have unique text there. Then we have our class of anchor URL and section ID. This one's important and you have to understand what it's doing. This class is doing two things to the text of the class. Do I do dash I dash need dash to know JavaScript to use this library? This is going to be set as the href, the section scroller of this section. So this is essentially being added in this part of the Webflow UI. It is also being added as an ID of this section. So here we're on the anchor dynamic content and we will have an ID of do I need to know JavaScript to use this library? And with the combined href of this button and section ID of this section, it will create a relationship for our anchor scrolling to work. So this is important and it's very important to know that it should be structured like a, like a section ID, like, a, like an href, it should not be text that does not work for this. And let me give you an example. Let's go into some static text and I'll rewrite this in something that doesn't really work. Do I need to know I have not tested this, but I would assume that this is going to give you a console error. This is not well structured for an href. It's not well structured for an ID of a section. So please go ahead, create a new field in the CMS to have a custom, uh, a custom anchor URL, custom section ID, 
or you can go ahead and use something like an embed block to get access to the slug. We can't get access to the slug through the settings panel, but I can go ahead and apply this slug here and then go and apply a class to it. So let's do something like this. Div class equals, what class are we working with here? This will do the same thing. So if you don't wanna go and create a new field to go and accept this structured information, you can always use the slug. The slug will be structured correctly for this. So I'll go and leave this in here in case you need it. Next, we are going to look at the class of where these buttons are inserted. So we have our button, our anchor link button, and these need to go somewhere. We are going to put them in our anchor put links in here. Again, this is named exactly for you to know what's going on. We are putting our links in this div. This div can be anywhere on the page. It does not need to be near or close by. It could be any style, any structure, any location. We're only looking at the class. So we're taking this button, we're putting the proper href on, we're putting the proper section ID on, and then we're going to copy paste it over to our anchor put links in here. Also, please know that this can and should be hidden on the live site. Obviously on your live site, you're not going to want this information. It doesn't need to be visible. So go ahead and hide that. This is still going to work exactly as planned. That's it for designer, that's it for the classes. Now let's get into custom code to see how this all comes together. We're in page settings, we see the script that we need to use to go ahead and create this anchor scrolling system. Right away, we see a bunch of classes that we are very familiar with. We have our anchor data feed, we have our link button, we have our URL and section ID, our put links in here. It's all right here, we're just applying them to the correct options. So let's go through this line by line, make sure we understand what's going on here. First, we need to have our hosted library script file here on the page. We're giving this to you for free in our CDN. Make sure you have that. Then we have our script specific to this page, this setup, this example. And the first thing we do in this script is run a function. In that function, we are going to create a new variable. And I'm going to rename this to FS anchor. I still have it as FS slider. So we have our FS anchor variable, and this variable is holding all of this information. This information is a new instance of the FN Suite CMS library. That instance is targeted to our anchor data feed class. This is the class that we applied to the collection list that has all of our dynamic information. So that new instance is in a variable called FS anchor. Now we're going to use FS anchor again down here, which is essentially all of this, and we'll run our anchor component on that instance. And then we have a whole bunch of options that we have to fill in with the class names that we just went over. First, we have our anchor button, and that's going to be the class of anchor link button. Then we have our anchor ID. That's going to be the anchor URL and section ID. This is what is the href of the button and the section ID. Then we have the button's target. This is the target div where the anchor buttons will be pasted into. So we're copying these anchor buttons, we're going to paste them in the target. And in this example, that's the anchor put links in here class. Lastly, we have our active class, which we have as active link. Note that there's no period in here because we are already referring to a class. And we didn't go over active link, but that is what is applied right here, active link. So active link gives just a bit of a styling so that when you go through, you know what's active and what's not active. And that's it. We went through everything that we needed to go and make this work. Excellent, looks great. Not extremely difficult for what we are able to achieve with just one dynamic list. 
we have an optional add-on to this, which makes it a bit cleaner for anchor scrolling. So this will do everything that you need to do and everything that we just talked about. If you're interested in the optional add-on, what this does is removes the hash and the href or the section ID from the URL. So check this out. When I'm going to these different sections, notice how nothing is being generated on the URL. By default, when you are scrolling through sections like this and anchor scrolling, you are going to get something at the end of this URL. The end of the URL will have a hash symbol and it will have what is a function. That's what this would look like. We don't want that for every single one of these. Maybe somebody is going to share this with a friend, they accidentally copy everything, and then we have this big giant link that doesn't really look clean and organized. So this add-on script is going to immediately, so quickly, remove that hash and the big text that comes with it so that your links are always clean, yet you are going to anchor scroll. This is just a copy paste. We're not gonna be going through this line by line. We have an example of this in FN Suite Webflow Hacks. You can go and see the walkthrough there. The only thing that we will be mindful of is that we have our anchor link button class here. And this is saying every time the anchor link button class is clicked, do not add that hash and make sure you remove it right away. This is how you create an anchor system with just one CMS dynamic list and FN Suite CMS library. That's FN Suite.